Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's good, you guys? It's Boomer, and you're watching Bali Star. And today we're getting into Abba and Preach. Surgeon lost her license for TikTok. Her patients were live streamed. You feel me? Um, now in this age of social media, man, uh, the way people are utilizing it, some people, are, you know, the way they're doing it is sick. And I don't mean that in a, 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 a ironic type of way because you know this is like involving a doctor, but. It goes to show, like, you know, how people in these type of professions, you know, like, how maybe they shouldn't be in that profession if they're going to do some type of activity like this. You know, it's like, it goes to show, it's like, you know, what's more important in the profession that you've taken, you know, it's like, and why would you think that would be a good idea? in that profession that you're in. You know, I mean, some professions, I'm pretty sure you can do it, you know what I'm saying? But in others, it's like, I think it'd be a little bit more critical than just getting some views. Unless it's for uh, teaching or things that benefit in that profession. But, man, let's get straight on into it, man. Make sure to leave a like, support the video. If you enjoy it, subscribe if you're new. So that way you can join up with the all-star gang up in this thing. Let's get straight on into it, man. Let's go. But her lack of professionalism and poor judgment and their responsibilities to others appears to have significantly contributed to her calling below the standards of care. Stern words from Dr. Jonathan B. Fable, just one member of the 12-member board tasked with investigating complaints and issuing, or in this case, revoking license as deemed fit. Dr. Robinson claims that this will change her life forever. Well, she has single-handedly forever changed the lives of at least three people. It was the concerns of not meeting the standard of care that brought the physician to this point. Uh -huh. As early as 2018, Dr. Groy was asked to address concerns of patient privacy on social media. The plastic surgeon often posted behind-the-scenes video, often shot in an operating room. The board also sent notice to the surgeon explaining three patients treated from 2020 to 2022 were treated inappropriately or given improper discharge papers. Those concerns, plus others, including a recovery house run by the surgeon not staffed by medical professionals and surgeries performed in an office setting without the proper licensure were all evaluated by the board. And sometimes I did silly or fun videos simply to make people smile in this world which is often negative and difficult to navigate. That's not your job. Your job is to care for people. Okay? That's not your job. Like he just boy. came in like that. That's not your job. Nah, for real. When, you, when you're on the job and you have people's lives in your hands, focus on that. Like you want to make other people Let happy, other and people you should keep that person. In the circus, do that. Let the comedians in the do best that. Health. That's not your job. Hey, no, no, no. What the hell? Just keep watching this one. I didn't send any videos while I was doing that with your dirty ass phone. And for the first time, the physician spoke publicly, calling the initial suspension humbling and pleading for another chance. But for former patients at the hearing, the plea simply wasn't enough. Former patient Mary Jenkins won a civil case against the former doctor. She says the license revocation is in a sense closure, but adds the damage she and so many other women live with will never go away. It'll never go away because every time we look down and we see a scar we're going to remember so what is the extent of what you actually did YouTube channel. a very valid question let's look it up what the fuck is going on it's kind of also like you don't want to look away because you're like oh my god what's going to happen like how did this so this is uh cassandra banks and you did the extensive research on the topic so let's take a look happen. a tiktok doctor had her medical license suspended for alleged botched surgeries live streaming procedures Bad on tiktok too. potentially without patient permission and telling those patients not to call 911 if they had medical complications yeah dr 
Roxy, also known as Dr. Gra, is a plastic surgeon from Ohio. And she had 850,000 followers Ohio. on TikTok and I think 130 something thousand on Instagram. California? And although she Ohio's grew up in, in San Diego, right? California, she went to medical school Ohio, in yeah. 2005 when she became a doctor. And just hey, because you're a doctor your doesn't mean that you're a plastic oh, surgeon oh, or that you have specialized in anything. So she went through what appears to be an extra five years of training to become a plastic wicked. surgeon. And she's actually been a plastic surgeon and operated her own clinic called the Roxy Clinic, where people could get a Oxy Roxy body, which she's done for the past 13 years. I oh, um, let me get a number two in the Foxy Roxy oh, shit, body. Oh, shit, all the way up there. Uh, super soft the titties and the, the, the ass for me. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> it's America. Yeah, 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 but it's, it's just funny for me. It's just funny. No, they all went with, with a, uh, uh, a mommy makeover. Yeah, with a Diet Coke, please. <laughs> Come on. No, I mean, that's a, that's the name. They, they try to make everything sound cute and sexy yeah. to remove the stigma of surgery. Well, TikTok has not been around for 13 years, but it has been around for a little bit more than three. And apparently, ever since 2020, Dr. Roxy has not only been posting online, but actually getting in trouble for it. And although everyone's reporting on this as like a TikTok Was surgery like disaster, there's a lot. Of Motherfucker is passed out in the back, probably didn't consent to that. Eh. So you see the vitals of the person, although the person looked dead, the person is like, Alive and alive. It, 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 it's okay. It's we're losing the patient. We just have to go for two seconds. That's just crazy. And we're not just talking about the surface of the skin. Now, when anyone has been in practice for 13 years, there's bound to be complications, right? Human bodies are complex. The complications here have gotten real bad. And the alleged potential cover-ups and the potential lack of post-procedure or after-procedure care that patients have allegedly not been given, it's led to three lawsuits this winter alone. And yes, she did just get her MD or her medical license revoked. Now, when it comes to TikTok, a lot of doctors and dermatologists and estheticians and care providers providers are using social media almost as a resume. There's some very interesting data on how social media is the new resume. Social media is an intrinsic part of our life. Times she was promoting plastic surgery I unnecessarily, guess it be such at, as doing this way. pencil test with the, the cleavages. And I will actually link to this in the description if you want to see it. This pencil test, I don't know if it's something she created or not, but she was basically telling women, if like you don't pass this beneficial. test with a pencil, you have to come get plastic surgery, which is not an ethical way to do marketing in my personal opinion. But it's not just my opinion in here because apparently the medical board agreed. The state medical board suspended her license on November 18th and they actually saw a lot of issues both with what she was posting on social media as well as some of the botched surgeries and complaints that people were having. She claims that her approach to plastic surgery was different. She had an all-female staff and she claimed that it was quote like a spa when people came to get things like a tummy tuck or a boob job or even yes Brazilian butt lifts which her clinic offered. But she also had a unique approach to her aftercare. She basically had like a rock clinic. She called her followers her foxies. And people who would come get these procedures would actually stay in like a house or... <laughs> Hi, foxies! <laughs> that is... I guess to make weird. a sound oh my God. I... less devastating. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of women who find that shit too, though. Yeah, that's so 100%. Fair. As weird as it is to us... Uh, I could see women uh, being like, 100%. oh, mimosas and surgery. Uh, uh, <laughs> this video is brought to you by Surfshark. Stop what you're doing right now. Just a quick reminder. Oh. You need Surfshark in your life. I do. Why? Well, Surfshark Why? is a VPN changer. If you're using public Wi-Fi, ugh, public Wi-Fi is public. filthy. Oh, oh, my God. The people do on the public Wi-Fi. Or a location where they recovered. Think of, like, the Dr. Phil house, but for Brazilian butt lift recovery surgery. Now, some of the main issues were what actually happened in those recovery clinics or what didn't happen after those surgeries and what was posted on social media part of the time without permission or without even paying attention to what was going on. Now, please keep in mind that all of this is alleged. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. And there are some that are speaking up and posting on TikTok and vocal about it, and others that are staying silent. Essentially, multiple people started filing complaints from botched surgeries, infections, things not healing properly, having bad reactions and not getting discharge paper, or basically the what you're supposed to do after this treatment sort of papers that uh, are medically required to provide. And some people were even told not to call 911. There was specifically this woman who posted her story on TikTok, saying that she went to Dr. Roxy because she was so excited and found her on social media. But then her tummy tuck as a new mom was botched and now she's having
trying to have a corrected surgery and it hurts for her to even stand. Another person had bowel perforation from liposuction, which is not only horrible and has the potential to cause major infection and complications. Yes, there's always risks when it comes to liposuction. But out of all of the procedures that plastic surgeons do, liposuction is known to be one of the safer ones. And the fact that liposuction actually put holes into someone's intestines, that's, you gotta, that's kind of hard to do, which we're gonna talk about exactly how that happens. But when you look at some of these videos that were posted online of Dr. Roxy, like not even paying attention to the camera, as a viewer of this, who's just watching this objectively, Whoa. and again, Dr. Roxy, like not even pay paying attention to the camera. Uh, see, I've never seen this process done before. As a viewer of this, who's just... Well, I think for something like that, you'd really want to pay attention. Like, like, yeah. Watching this objectively, and again... That. Watching the camera while you have a whole tube and something. Nah, I mean... She's just treating it like... Woo, woo, woo. Right. Right. <laughs> it's crazy. Thanks, and there's a good video on the topic. Yeah. But you guys can go check up the TikToks themselves. I'll say this. Social media is a hell of a drug. And the way it's got some of y'all in its grips... It's got yeah. everybody like this a junkie. This woman threw away her whole fucking career as a doctor. For less Junkies are just not in the streets no more. I need to stop. They're just not on Skid Row no site, more. Social media really do be these doctors' restaurants. Skid Row as places. Clinics, how they find a lot of their clients. She's I think it's like here in Canada, it's unethical. Ah, wow. so realistic. This Mortal Kombat. Yo, this is crazy. For clinics. Uh, and doctors to market themselves privately. The reason being is because when they're going on social media and they're doing all these posts and stuff like that, they constantly try to find ways to make things more appealing, less medical, less this, less that, and just trying to garner as many people through the doors, which leads to really shoddy marketing tactics, all right? To the point where it stops being about a medical practice and how you can make it look cool and glamorous rather than making the procedure really good, um, which, when I see stuff like this, I understand why they have these laws and practices here in Canada, and I prefer it that way personally. Um, sometimes I see some medical professionals or counselors or psychologists that are online, and you see these people giving asinine diagnoses or just really weird stuff uh, because it's appealing on social media or it's garnering them views. And you have to think that they're using their position of authority, the board certified certificates that they're given. To it's like you have to ask your doctor now if they use social media like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's just a crazy assumption, but it's like, you know, it's just added to that list of questions that, you know, you'd regularly ask a doctor about procedure of what, uh, you know, whatever you be going through, you know what I'm saying? It's like social media is a big question to ask in that now. It's like, do you have a TikTok, <laughs> Dr. Schwartz? <laughs> Please tell me no. Please tell me no. Well, to garner the attention of so many people, right? People are watching, not because this person's interesting, but because doctor is watching or reacting to a situation, right? So- The board you know, of doctors is watching now, come niggas. With a tremendous amount of power. And sometimes the way that they wield their social media accounts, it doesn't seem like they wield that power with any responsibility. So, uh, yeah, me watching some of this stuff, I just, I think it's very disappointing. But I want to ask you, what do you think is watching all this? Well, you said most of it. You know, it's crazy how social media got, got us. Uh, I think it's a bit different in the States than it is in Canada. But still, I see I still see it here a bit to be able to promote people and people are watching a lot. Yeah, social media is very much the, the resume of a lot of people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For a lot of things, not just for jobs. Just for, you know, when you try to meet someone. Trying to meet someone, you're going to try to look at the social, social media to see what kind of thing they post. If it's too cringe, you're probably going to... Dash that away. That's yeah. what I understand. But they do that for work and stuff like that. So for tattoo artists, I can understand. For certain things, I can when medical, when you have the lives of people in your hands, yeah. I don't know, it's a bit weird. It could be a jobs, but not show, all jobs, bro. Hang on guy, like I calling people that the marketing behind it is super weird. Like you're ordering something. Foxy Roxy Body. Hi everybody. Um just wanted to give everybody quick update is what's going on so um sorry um I went in the ER on Friday and um today is Sunday and I'm still here 
Um, they're gonna keep me again. I've lost track on how many IV antibiotics that I've given. But I have, um, definite infection. Um, I know one is a stab infection, and there's another one, I'm not too sure what it's called, but, um, I'm supposed to see an infectious disease doctor today. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was preacher's face. It was preacher's face. Made, I'm sorry. It was preacher's face. I make it that, bro. Like, dude, what? Um. So, um, just trying to do this. Um, I'm probably gonna lose my job over this. So, don't know what I'm gonna do for money. Um, but it is what it is, and I will get through this. Um, at this point, I just want to be home with, like, my children and my family, so, and I appreciate everybody's positive thoughts. Um, so, sorry for me looking disastrous, um, but just please continue to, um, prayers and everything else and um try to share this as much as possible so hopefully more people come forward um because this is, this is not okay um she's basically flipped my life upside down um pretty much good but hopefully not but possibly losing my job um just the mental stress <sighs> Um, that I've gone through, so, um, being away from my family. Alright. Mm-hmm. There's real people affected by this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know? So it's one thing if, uh, uh you know, you're making burgers and you want to be on TikTok. It's a different thing if you're an open heart surgeon. You're like, alright, so... There's levels to this shit. <laughs> yeah. There's levels to this shit, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you me. Know you want to dance and flip burgers, but you want to have people's lives in your hand and flip burgers. It's like a cop. It's just like a cop. If the cop is just on the job, I'm like, ooh, look at me. I arrested this baddie. I can't take you uh, seriously, okay? Uh, <laughs> anyways, whatever. That is crazy. Hey, man. The reasoning of why... I just, I can't get reason, over it. The reasoning why just, you made... You, yeah, la, 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 like you're making a milkshake or some shit. <laughs> the reasoning of why you were making those videos as well is super lame. Super lame. Super lame. You're not fucking Taylor Swift. You know, shake it off. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So you're disconnected at this point. I never want to be living. I just want to make my shit videos to me. That's not your job, boo-boo. Oh, my God. Oh, my days. You said to yourself, ah, it'd be a good idea to, oh, let me be on the wheel of a city bus, right? But at the same time, I want to enlighten everybody's mood, so I'm going to make TikTok dance while I'm going to be behind the wheel. What the fuck is wrong with you? Drive your bus, stupid. There's other people that are to be. You gotta be attentive. There's cyclists. Yo, disconnected. Disconnected. But whatever. You lost your license. You should have gone to jail. You lost your license. I think you got off easy, my girl. You lost your license. You should have gone to jail. Yeah, you, like, you altered the lives of so many people. Jail. Good, Absolutely. Uh, jail. First it's degree, crazy. Yeah, right professionals, there. be it cops, this kind of shit, are able to escape, like, real punishment. Jail. It is fascinating. Jail. And when they do go to the jail, they get, like, 60, 60 days. They got to do jail from home. What the fuck is jail from home? Man, Baldur's Gate just came out. I'm about to be playing that shit all day. You know what I mean? Like, yo... <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's, it's interesting watching this now. Paid leave. Fuck out of here. Because I'm realizing just how sick some of this shit is in terms of attention seeking. It's really a sick. You, you should have, you should you should have, you should have been to, in prison. Yes. You should have been in prison 100%, my girl. Hey, listen. Klaus, it is a sickness of the highest order. And we do not want it. That not even doctors have prescriptions to make you feel better from. You feel me? Just deviants. Therefore, we don't want to just take a flyer. There you go. Anything else? <laughs>
This is a yeah, sickness no, that needs a cure yeah, more like than cancer. Of a doctor, huh? But we have to ask <laughs> who has asked for her? Huh? The wrong people. Oh, they looked for a tummy tuck. Now they look like a snowman. <laughs> I feel bad for them. They are melting every day. <laughs> My friend, you wanted to go for breast implants. Now you have triangles for titties. <laughs> I feel bad for you. You have a pizza slice, one pepperoni. Get the fuck out of here. Cut this shit out. Cut this shit out. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Pizza slice, cut this shit out. One pepperoni. You know this shit? Cut this shit out. Cut this shit out. And? Pizza slice, cut this shit out. One pepperoni. You know this one? Pepperoni. You know this one? Cut this shit out. Go cut this shit out. <laughs> you foul for this shit. You foul. You <laughs> hella foul. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It is a good one, huh? It is one I got from my uncle, huh? When he was going to the whorehouse, he said, this one had a pizza, 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 pizza breast. One pepperoni. One pepperoni. <laughs> Okay. Dr. Raxi, if you are watching this one, <laughs> this time you are going to pay your tax. If you don't, you are going to jail. You should have gone to jail, girl. Yes, I agree. I agree. Somebody. From African doctor Abba. <laughs> what? Alright, you guys, so that was Abba and Preach with the uh, surgeon. Lots of license for TikTok. Her patients were live streamed. Um, yeah, Preach called it, bro. Cause that is some crazy ish you doing right there. Y'all let me know your thoughts about it down in the comment section down below, man. Y'all know it's a boomer and you're watching Bali Star, man. Make sure to leave a like below the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new so that we can join up with the all star gang up in this thing. Hey, bro, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. You feel me? One hundred. Oh, I don't know what to do. I just want you.